so there are different ways in which we can detect stress, and uh, we, sh we should actually combine an experiment. So from the subjective part, you have self-assessments. And you have assessments on surveys that have been extensively validated in the, in the behavioral literature. Um, so we can, there are um, something that is called like a stress scale, where in a Likert scale, you rate your stress levels in certain times. You can also use a job stress uh, questionnaire that is going to ask you to rate some stressful, some, some potential events that are causing um, stress as work. We also have um, certain surveys that uh, ask about your anxiety levels. So it, it, it tried to get into these feelings of apprehensions, nervousness that are correlated with psychological stress. So that's from the subjective point of view. From the objective point of view, we talk about the gold standard, which is cortisol and, and, and some other hormones. But cortisol is not a stress hormone. We can also talk about uh, the biometric information that you get, uh, for example, via wearables and or via an, e an ECG. And we are talking about heart rate availability, and we are talking about electrodermal activity. Electrodermal activity is mostly related with sweat, uh, and then the heart rate availability is related to these intrinsic heartbeats, so the heartbeats, in the, the, the time between heartbeats. And just to give you some background about heart rate variability, a healthy heart had some uh, irregularities. So you think that your heart beats um, 60 times every minute, so 60 beats per minute, but that's actually not true. There are heart beats that last uh, 1.8 seconds. Uh, some might last uh, 0.8 seconds. Um, and these are all like changes depending on what branch of your autonomic nervous system is activated. Either the sympathetic nervous system that prepares you for a fight, or the parasympathetic nervous system, which is related to, to relaxation. So every one of us have an intrinsic heart rate. And that intrinsic heart rate is the heart rate that you have when you block all the influence from the, from the autonomic nervous system. Um, when you are relaxed, then you have um, more room for, for, for variability. So you, go, you have more room to get away from this intrinsic um, heart rate. While if you are stressed and your sympathetic is activated and you, need, you have an increasing heart rate, then you have less room for variations in the time intervals between heartbeats. So this is, this is a measure that has been um, actually very extensively studied in the literature and that uh, a lot of researchers have been able to associate with a stressful event or with a cardiovascular problem as well.